I am Ananya Mishra and you are watching Through My Glasses. Today is 18th June. 18th June is marked as the Martyr Day of J uh, Queen of Jhasi, Rani Lakshmi Bai. On this day in year 1858, Rani Lakshmi Bai fought fiercely with the British Army with her mostly women army and got Morta at the age of 23. And I thought what could be a better occasion of talking about feminism than this day. In this video, I am going to trace back some history of women and how women evaluate over time uh, the moment that has started feminism in the world and uh, some current facts about women and whether or not feminism is relevant in today's situation. So let's get started. Let's talk about ancient history to have a better understanding of how women have evaluated over a period of time. So I'm going to read out some pieces by historians and the first one is uh, about Indus Valley Civilization. This was written by Paolo Biaghi and Synth Watch in 2004 and he has described and I quote the hairstyles, ornaments and dressing clearly indicates the important prominence assigned to women at that time. In this, he is talking about the figurines that were discovered from the sites of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro. Another one is from the research paper, The Saga of Women's Status in Ancient Indian Civilization by Professor A.S. Altikar. Uh, this research paper's, paper was published in 1938. And he has mentioned, and I quote, Women's freedom to participate in the war, gymnastics, archery, horse riding, public activities, education, decision making and in the selection of male partner has portrayed the nature of women's status in the social canvas of the Rig Vedic period. So this clearly defines that women were not always oppressed in India. So when did things started to actually change? What happened that changed the status of women in India. The thing started to change after the first invasion by Alexander in around 326 BC in India. Ever since then, India has been invaded 200 times by the foreigners until it became independent in the year 1947. With the con constant invasions, the culture of India started to change. Sati, Parda, child marriages, not having access to education became prevailing part of Indian society. So let's talk about the roots of feminist moment in the world. It is said that the feminist moment in the world started between uh, late 19th to early 20th century and the objective of that feminist moment was to gain political rights for the women. It's only after the year 1918 that uh, countries like Britain, Poland and USA gave the right to cast vote to women in the elections. And the situation is uh, not alright today as well because we have all seen that the Saudi gave women right to drive vehicles in the year 2018. And also in India, uh, the daughters got the right to their ancestral and property after 2005 when the Hindu Succession Act 2005 was passed. Now before discussing whether feminism is relevant in present scenario or not, let's quickly go through some facts about India. So in India, the gender ratio is 108 men per 100 women. Also, with uh, on every 12 million women that are born in a year, 1 million of them die before reaching the age of 1 year. Also, according to Times of India, uh, in 2018, 88 rapes were happening per day in India, according to a report by NCRB. If you ask me whether or not feminism is relevant in present day scenarios, I would probably say maybe it's not. But if you ask me if women need to come together, present a united front and fight for a cause, then I would say yes. You can change the name of the movement, you can call it whatever you want, 
but it doesn't uh, deny the fact that in india and in all around the world women need to come together and there's a long long way for women to go to achieve the rights that they have in ancient times and now they don't have them now a lot of people also say that feminism is u- being used as a weapon against men the definition of feminism has changed over a period of time and uh, a lot of things so i would like to say that the definition of feminism can be different for a different person and everybody has their own versions everybody have their own interpretation about the things so it's not a big deal if i feel something else and my counterpart or another woman my friend feels something completely else when we talk about feminism and uh, about feminism being a weapon against men looking at the situation of women i think it's impossible to create a threat for men and if women are being able to do that then kudos to them but i don't think so i i just feel that people have uh, so much less information and when they start comparing the facts they just compare two things that are not at all on the same level and then they try to compare them and say things like women are women are also abusing men and women are also killing men and etc etc to uh, but that does not justify or that cannot be compared with the violence that is taking place against women every day every hour every second in our country and in the rest of the world so at the end i would like to conclude it by saying that if you have the problem with the name you can change the name of the movement but you cannot deny the requirement of the movement and the requirement of women coming together being united and fighting for the rights that they have been denied for the longest time now thank you so much for watching i may have missed a lot of information i try to collect everything i could in a shorter span of time but if you think that i have missed something please mention that in the comment section thank you so much for watching once again bye